Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, residents of Dong community in the just north local government area of Plateau State have protested against the killing of four minors in the state by gunmen suspected to be headsmen. The angry residents who carried three branches blocked major routes in the community on Sunday while demanding justice for the slain victims. A protester, John Emmanuel, said the killing occurred on Saturday. It was learned that three of the victims were members of the same family from Moshe community in the Just South local government area. The lawmaker representing Just South and Just East federal constituency, Dachong Musa Bagos, condemned the killings. At number four, over 400 corpses have been burned beyond recognition in a fire incident that occurred at the mortuary section of the General Hospital on Icha, Anambra State. The fire, which lasted about three hours on Saturday, burned the mortuary building located behind the hospital facility. Reports say the fire emanated from a burning bush behind the morgue. On Sunday, some families who had come to carry their corpses for burial were seen in tears when they saw the state of the mortuary. At number three, operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency raided a garden in Abuja and arrested six persons for selling drug cookies and noodles. In a statement released on Sunday by the NDLA Director of Media and Advocacy, Femi Baba Femi, operatives of the agency raided the garden at Wuse Zone 5 behind ShopRite, where a lady, Rachel Famiyeso, who deals in drug cookies, was arrested along with her sales girl, Stella Sonley. Beside the cookies, they were also caught selling bottles of black currant drink, popularly called Zobo, prepared with cannabis. Another business operator in the garden, Muzi Sobi, was also arrested with his sales girl, Aisha Abdulrahman, for selling Indomie noodles prepared with cannabis. At number two, troops of the Nigerian army, in a joint operation with vigilantes on Saturday night, engaged bandits in Zamfar State in a gun battle, killed many of them and rescued a politician and his family. Sources narrated that the politician, Aminu Adamu, had been kidnapped by bandits in his house in Mareri quarters. Mr. Adamu is the managing director of the Zamfara State Transport Authority and a close ally of Governor Bello Matawale. At number one, the Federal Road Safety Corps says over 300 people died in various road accidents in Ogun State in 2021. The FRC sector commander in the state, Ahmed Umar, disclosed this in a statement issued in Abiyukta on Sunday. Mr. Umar explained that 1,200 people were involved in various road accidents, with over 200 vehicles involved. According to him, speed violation, which was due to human error, accounted for over 77% of accidents in the state in 2021. He revealed that Siena vehicles, also referred to as space buses, had high involvement in the crashes during the year under review. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands, and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.